Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, one plugin in particular which is the Moz uh, widget plugin from Atomo which have been developed by the company Amperage who has in fact already many little widgets which are available on the Matomo's marketplace such as the Facebook widget, the Twitter widget, uh, the Crazy Egg uh, widget, uh, I think Sharp uh, widget and as well the Moz widget. Uh, what those plugins are doing, it's always the same thing. It's like um, adding um, a widget possibility on uh, your dashboard in order to integrate, not let's say integrate, but to display data from a third party player. And this third party player for the Moz uh, widget plugin is of course uh, the famous solution uh, Moz.com. Uh, okay, so. Uh, for the people who don't know what Moz.com is, this is a company uh, created by Ron Fishkin, who is one of the most influential uh, SEO uh, practitioner owners. Um, what I dislike with this plugin, but it's not the plugin itself, it's more like the Moz uh, system, is that you need to enter your credit card information even if uh, you are using a, a free account. Okay, uh, The reason is that the plugin is using the API of Moz, which of course is 100% uh, normal. But I guess that uh, the company Moz probably has many American companies uh, received too many requests from the outside and decided to, um, let's say, to protect this by asking people to put their credit card information. Just to let you know that even if you go for a free account, you will be charged. Uh, in my case, I've been charged like one euro. Um, they say that they are going to pay you back. Um, I, I don't know because I just did it today, but I know that they are taking out this uh, one euro. Okay, so once you create um, an account on this platform, uh, then you need uh, to have an access to the API. So this is where you need to enter your credit card information. And when you get charged, of uh, one euro. Once it's done, uh, what's going to happen is that uh, within your uh, Matomo backend, you will have to enter your credential uh, over here. So uh, Moz will give you uh, the what they call the site access ID, which is uh, what can I show? You? Yeah. So if you go uh, within the user preferences, so let's say over here, personnel, uh, you will get, you will get, you will get uh, uh, what I was uh, showing you some minutes ago, which is, yes, exactly. You need to enter your access ID, API key, so as the secret uh, key ID, so just information that you need to copy and paste. Uh, this will, of course, link your, uh, let's say, your Matomo account to the one of, uh, of Moz in order to export data from Moz to uh, Matomo. Uh, by default, it will show you just an example as a widget. Uh, so you won't have something which is custom like this. It will just say example.com. But once you start to use Moz, so let's say once you start to use the different tools uh, that you can see uh, over here, then uh, it's going to be start to be filled with data. So in my case, for example, I use the Link Explorer. And once I start using the Link Explorer, then you start to get some data over here. Uh, to get the data appearing over here, just need to go over here on the dashboard. And then uh, you will find the Moz widgets within the SEO. OK, SEO, that, that's the one which is here, Moz.com. OK, so do not expect to find it on social or anything like this is on SEO. Um, dealing with the data which will be available to you. So by default, once you are starting using Moz, you get those, okay? Uh, as you can see, that's, that's not much, but that's probably the basic data that you need in order to get uh, started. And you can get a little extra feature by using what they call custom report within Moz. So it's like uh, creating a custom, um, let's say custom report like picking up the kind of metrics that you would like to get within uh, within Moz. So in order to do so, you need to go over here in um, open in Moz Pro. And then once you do so, you will get a specific URL that you can copy and paste and put it within your uh, measurable settings within Matomo. 
And as a result, uh, when you do so, uh, when you copy and paste this data, you're going to get this additional button over here that you can click on in order to see uh, your uh, your custom report. So it's it's nothing. Let's say it's nothing crazy. It's just a shortcut toward this uh, given report. But I would say that's a nice feature anyway because it helps you see uh, easily what's uh, what's going on. So uh, as you can see, for example, here in just one click shortcut, I get uh, directly my keywords information. So this is nothing magic. I just have been redirected to most.com and I didn't stay over here in um, in uh, in Matomo. But I would say that that's better than, than nothing. After all, this plugin is developed for free. But I would say the big magic is on the most.com website. And as I previously said, that's a paid service. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.